What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We are here at Williams Harley Davidson today for the demo ride. It is a beautiful day here in dirty Jersey, blue skies, clear skies. And guess what I'm taking out? I'm gonna give you guys a nice little feel of what it used to be like looking at my channel before on this iron 1200. I mean, I know I had an 883 before, but it's similar. Oh, this feels so weird putting a leg over this bike. It feels so light compared to mine, man. You gotta love it. What's up, bro? Oh, nice. What's your name? Mike? Mike? Yeah. Well, what are you riding? I own a fat bike. Okay, nice. Nice. You, you want this ride right now or no? Yeah, I already did two rides. I did the live wire. How'd you like that? Super fun, man. Super cool, right? It's crazy. Bike is awesome, man. I have nowhere to put one, but it was, it was fun. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice yeah, you too, man. Take it easy. This is faster than yours, 1200. Than the 883 I had? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. It's a cool bike, man. You should get a sporty. <laughs> yeah, wait, no, you had a sporty. Oh, yeah, you had a. Uh, the street. Yeah, I know. All right. Oh my God, you hear that sound? So beautiful. Stock sound. Regardless of what people say about these bikes, Sportsters are just super fun bikes, man. Just super fun bikes you could just rip around the roads with you could really work on your riding style with due to the fact that they're so light they're nimble they're easy to throw around so if you really want to upgrade your riding style and get really good at your riding style then this is this is the bike you could do it on man sports 1200 all right so we'll get into the review of this bike sports 1200 obviously the next step up from an iron 883 is basically the same exact bike this just has a bigger engine more cc's besides that same exact bike uh the bars are different out here obviously um the bars do feel very very comfortable a little pull back right here very smooth i definitely recommend this bike to um newer riders this is like the perfect bike when you're looking at the you know at harley bikes if you're new to riding start on a sportster you can always upgrade to a bigger bike um they're super fun super light this bike here weighs around 500 pounds you know compared to the soft tails that weighed around 630 650 around there so a big difference you may not think so but it is a huge difference the only thing about these bikes that when you know you do get on them and you do ride aggressively in the corners you do straight pegs um, so that's one thing that I used to do a lot on my 883 But it's not a crazy scrape like to the point where you're you know, you're gonna flip over anything like that The pegs actually do bend up a little So it's not gonna cause you to just flip the bike over. So it's pretty comfortable Now really quick on controls guys right here. You got your cutoff switch your on button your right turn signal dual signal light Your on button right here. You got your low beam high beam toggle button. You got your horn and left turn signal here. The analog is right here, right in the front. Uh, very visible. Uh, the bike does come with this little bikini fairing in the front, which makes the bike look really nice. Aesthetically, it looks very, very nice, very pleasing. I like this Barracuda Silver on the tank. Um, another thing that this bike uh, is gonna have different from the Iron 83 is gonna be the seat. Let me shift down. It's gonna be the seat. So this seat is uh, it's still one, uh, one up but it's way more plushier than the seat on the 883. Um, right here in the dash, you're gonna see the indicator that tells you what gear you're on. So right now we're uh, second gear, she goes to third. This bike is very, you know, very minimal, very minimalistic. Um, your neutral light is gonna be right here, your turn signals, if you're low on oil, everything is right here. So everything's like right, right in front. This is the bike for like, for a very minimalistic person you know if you want to uh, if, if you're in a, a city environment and you want to use the bike you know for commuting um getting in and out of the city it's perfect for that due to the fact that it's so narrow so thin you're, you're able to dip in and out of traffic you're able to lane split um it's so light man look at this here you just lean this bike over lean angles it's it's all right like I said, the lean angle, like you're, you're gonna scrape pegs, but it's uh, it's all right, man. I like the fact that, I think that this is one of the, the one, one of the most pleasing parts about this bike is that everything's kind of blacked out. Um, that's what 
attracted a lot of people in the last few years and that's why harley davidson is doing this whole blacked out thing now you know they came out with the a83 after the nicer and it was like all blacked out and it's just people want to go with that look and now everything is going down that 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 rabbit hole you see all these bikes now you know all the specials are all blacked out and they look really nice i love it the wheels on here are really nice too this evolution engine here man it just uh you feel that that harley rumble on it man it really really feels good uh you know these are soft tails now the engines are much quieter in the m8s and on these bikes you're really feeling the nice vibration from the engine feels great and then obviously after you change out these pipes you'll get that real harley sound that potato 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 blah 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 now from what I heard yesterday, uh, the route that they took for this demo ride is really nice. So as you can see now, really nice roads. The demo ride that I did the other day at Yamaha, man, that sucked. It was literally just around town. This, you get the real feel, the bike, you know? Nice speeds, you know, you're at a nice cruising speed right now, 50. You're able to take everything in. Hopefully we get to open them up a little more later. Now, one thing I gotta say about these bikes, you know, obviously Sportsters, suspension on them suck. They really do, man. So if, uh, if you wanna keep a Sportster for the long term, I would highly suggest changing out the um, suspension on them. Once you do that, the bike will be very, very comfortable. Now, due to the fact that these bikes only come one up, you can also add a uh, two up seat on here. Have a uh, throw your lady behind you or your guy or whatever you're into. Now I'm going to be doing a comparison video pretty soon with this bike and another sporty. I'm not going to say which one yet, but I'm going to put them side by side and we're going to take them to the battle, baby. See which bike is the better one. The bar setup on here, I got to say, is really, really comfortable. It gives you a nice little relax, you know, nice little relax zone. Elbows are slightly bent. Good height. Would I keep them like this? No, I would obviously change our bars. I like drag bars on these bikes. I think drag bars look amazing on sporties. Now after this, we're gonna be taking out, um, taking out some live wires. So me and the group that came together, we're gonna hop on all the live wires and rip them down this road. I'm gonna put that on video. I already put up a nice little in-depth review of that live wire. So if you wanna see that, just scroll down. I got like three videos on the live wire. But the guys haven't been on the live wire yet, so they wanna check it out. So one of the main reasons why these bikes right here are so popular is because of the cost. You know, this this is basically like your your entry level Harley, basically. We're not gonna talk about the streets because I don't streets are blah. But uh, this is basically your basic entry Harley Davidson for you know pretty good price point. That's why they uh, they sell well and they're so popular. You get an 883 for like what is it with taxes and everything? Many 600 out the door. You know. I think retail on them is like 85. Retail on this one here, um, I believe is a little over 10. It's a it's a very appealing retail price, and that's why people get into it. And you know, if after a while you you grow out of the bike or you just want more, just upgrade. Very simple. Little bridge, little bridge. Oh, this looks nice. This little farmland right here. I love farms this time of year. <laughs> Which reminds me, gotta go apple picking in a few weeks. Gotta take the kids. Little tradition I have. Every year go apple picking, take the kids out, enjoy some good food, eat some apples. Love me some apples. Hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful ride out here. You're taking it all in as I am. Smells nice out here. Smells like fresh cut grass. Now, main thing about this bike, main reason why a lot of people like it, it is super, super customizable. I mean, we're thinking about Harley, Harley's, you know, that's that's the main thing. Harley's are extremely customizable, but these bikes, you could just go so many different routes. You wanna go with a kind of a cafe racer type of looking sporty, you could do that. You want to go with kind of a chopper style you could do that 
It's the best thing about Harley, man. Regardless of what people say or think, it's the best part. You can put your special touch in every Harley. Make it yours. Make it special. And this <laughs> this vibration is so different, man. I don't get this vibration on my uh, on my low rider S. Like, it just feels weird. <laughs> my bike is like, you know, engine is so smooth and calm. This bike is just like blah 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 blah. blah. And that fat boy is so nice. Fat boy is like one of those bikes that you're like, ah, oh, so beautiful. Pretty expensive, but beautiful bikes, man. Very very distinctive. All right, maybe we get uh, open them up here a little. <laughs> I hate the sound of stock pipes, man. <laughs> I've been very impressed with this ride. This route is really nice. Really nice route they chose. Look at that. Alright guys, I think that's gonna be it. Drop your uh, comments and thoughts down below. If you are in the market and you're looking for a 40, take this bike out, man. Pretty sure you'll like it. If this is the type of content you're into, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button. It's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Guess what guys, the merch is coming this week. Hopefully, merch will be up for sale on the uh, website. So tune in for that. Plus tons and tons of other stuff. I'm also doing a giveaway, Memphis Shades Guards. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway soon. So tune in for that as well. You gotta be subscribed to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram for the following instructions for that. And uh, I'm gonna keep enjoying this ride. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.